Hey, butterflies. Welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with me, Dr. Smo. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated. And a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on my website and the members over on Patreon. Thank you to everyone who has um, invested in this space. May the energy be back to you tenfold. Thanks to everyone who's purchased from my team, my Kindle company, personal readings, all of that jazz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we are here with a ancestor mission. We're going to pull and see what is the energy uh, with the ancestors. Okay. Um, before we get started, I do have a free guided meditation that I will be hosting for the fathers um, on Sunday. The link will be down below for you to be able to um, get registered for that for free on my website. I also already have a free guided meditation on my website as well for mothers. So I have that link down below for you. Um, the live is already over, so you can still just capture the replay. And then we also have a guided meditation for enlarging your territory that we'll be having live this Friday morning um, with the full moon. And so that is available on my website as well. And the links for that is down below. So make sure to check that out. So let's get into this energy. Ancestors, what do you have for us? I need to get ready for um, class we have tonight. And... I felt the strong urge to come and pull cards, you know, and I didn't have a message before coming on. They were just like, it'll come to you. I'm like, I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> I trust you. All right. That's a lot of your energy right now as we're getting into this. Um, you're in a space where you're really trusting flow. You've been in flow you've been allowing things to happen you've been allowing yourself to tap into the things that you've been finding yourself being curious about um you've been just going out doing random things you have been trying new things you've literally been just going with the flow of what your higher self and your spirit has been feeling and your ancestors feel it they feel the shift that you've been making you know you're no longer stopping yourself out of fear you're no longer stopping yourself because of what other people may say you're no longer stopping yourself because of what something looks like you're like you know what i'm going with flow because it's a reason why this is happening the way that it's happening and your ancestors feel that they're like yes you got it like it feels like this energy of a nod of approval like yeah you got it that's literally what it's always been, you know. And yes, there's going to be people who try to come in and mess up your flow. There's going to be people who come in and try to make you feel bad for being in the flow that you're in. Um, but stay confident, stay steadfast in what it is that you're doing and why you're doing what you're doing. Never lose sight of your why. But they are so proud of you. this deck okay i'm shuffling different decks until i feel the energy of them um telling me to stop and to pull a card until then we're channeling <laughs> all right ancestors what message do you have for your babies at this time when was the last time you took a break you know just took a moment to just stop you know the fact that i'm steady step shuffling cards i just got the message that i felt just come to me um of the aspect of when do you allow yourself to just stop and take a break take a rest and not like and rest and not think about what you need to do not think about what you need to be finishing not think about what need to be done tomorrow not think about what you messed up on like an actual rest where you're not doing anything but thinking about what you're doing. You know, no one's coming in to bother you and bug you and get on, you know, you have time to just be with you. Um, it's something about not forgetting to have that time. So if it's been a while since you've had time like that, make sure you get something planned in there. And I'm hearing have it planned regularly, okay? 
Because people going to take your time, okay? They going to take your time. You got to be the one to tell them no. Because if not, they going to keep taking it, okay? Four sticks to start off. Okay, ancestors, what you got? Some of you all may be looking into buying property or moving, getting into a new home, building a new foundation, um, looking into land to build on at this time with this four of sticks. Yeah, seven of baskets. You're dreaming and imagining and manifesting a new home. Oh, your ancestors want to talk about your new home that you're manifesting and working towards. Oh, they said you've been writing it out and making it plain. Five, five, five on the time. You've been imagining that you're already in this new space. Like in your current space, you've been allowing yourself to imagine that. Yes, six of knives moving at the bottom of the deck. You've been imagining moving. You've been imagining where you're moving to next, what your next goal is, what your next plan is. Like you've been thinking bigger and it's bigger than what you thought. It's bigger than what you were thinking before. It's like something just came over you and you were just like, I think I want to think bigger. I think I want to think more. I want to think greater. And this is exactly what's happening. So this is about a home that you're envisioning. We're going to pull the six of knives out. This is about a home that you're envisioning and thinking about moving or building at this time. And I'm hearing your ancestors say, begin to write out all the specifications of your home. What does your home have? What does it entail? And you literally start envisioning that every day when you come to your current home, that's what it is. Like decorate your current home how you would decorate that home. So when it's time for you to move into that home, you already got the furniture for it, baby. Okay, you already got the furniture for it. You already have, you know, the different, you know, you may find yourself buying art that interests you, you know, and you're just like, I don't know where to put it now, but you know you wanna have it one day for your home. Do that, like that's, that's, that's manifesting. That is a part of the magic of, you know, the seven of baskets energy, okay? Don't think about, oh, what the finances and stuff look like right now because now you've been changing your mindset. And once you're changing your mindset, you're about to start attracting opportunities that offer more, that are greater, okay? You're about to start attracting opportunities that are greater. You're also going to have the opportunity to save more. So it's like you're going to be making more money, but you're not going to be spending more. So it's like you're going to be able to save a lot of the money that you make. You have the strength card coming out at the bottom of the deck. I'm hearing it took a long time for you to get here. It took a long time for you to get here, but now that you're here, it's like, wow. It feels seamless. So let's talk about this home. Um, How long of a journey? We're just gonna jump right on into it, okay? Um, select one, two, three, or four. Okay. Select one, two, three, or four. All right. If you chose one, a lot of y'all may be already looking into moving. Or in six weeks, you may see something that starts to intrigue you into like, so if this reading is not really fully resonating with you, in about six weeks, you're going to see something that's going to be like, oh, wait, hold on. I think I like that bathroom type. I think I like, you know what I'm saying? But if you're already seeking, you're going to be moving um, you have within six weeks. If you chose number two, you're going to be, okay, this is within the month of June. So it's going to be during the summertime, whenever, whether if it's this summer next summer the summer after so on and so forth so you know your situation but know that it's going to be during the summertime with number two um what is up with the number three this is five days so a lot of this is like people who are already trying and in the process because if you chose four you have one year so this is a lot of you all who are already in the process of trying you're already in the process of 
getting a home, okay? Getting a new home or moving into a new home. Um, something ha is happening really, really fast, okay? Okay, ancestors, what do you have? Baby, my dog is so old, he have a hard time jumping on the couch. So that's what he's trying to do. Perseverance, so you're not giving up. Creativity, you being creative and putting in the effort. So this is, oh, and then I looked under perseverance. There was another card there and it was changed. So you may be changing up some of your habits or something as a way to get yourself prepared. I'm hearing some of you all, if this is like buying a home or something, you may be looking into like getting your credit together. Some of you all, you're planning on buying cash for something, or you're, you may be getting ready to go through like a credit check in some type of way for a home, but something is going to be happening soon. Okay. It's going to happen sooner than what you're expecting. Um, wow wow okay so this new home let's 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 talk about it let's talk about it <clears throat> choose number one or number two because i feel like there's two different styles like that the ancestors are tapping into one feels like nice apartment that feels like a sky rise and then the other one feels like by the water and just like yeah page of swords and then the three of wands so it's definitely you either um you're manifesting a home that you feel like it's not uppity, but you feel it's like a value. It's a home of value. Okay. 12, 12. Um, like the type of place where you are running into people who may be a little bit more of like status, you know, you know, it feels like condo of some sort or like a midtown area. It feels like an, an area where like the neighbors and stuff are very, um, they're considerate, they're creative, they're inquisitive, okay? Like an art district um, energy, like a space where people are more free and more open and I'm seeing like flailing and like, but like in dancing form of some sort. Um, a space, I'm seeing like coffee shops and bookstores so this is like a thriving area like these things are not too far from it it's a space where you would get a lot of clarity and you would feel like you're around people with like minds um it's something about the space where you would be coming from it's a space where you feel like a lot of people didn't really understand you y'all weren't really on the same page um, but this is giving like you going somewhere where you're in more of like a like mind with other individuals. Meanwhile, others of you all, you are more interested in being more secluded. Um, you're looking at more of a space, you know, may even like moving to another country or you want to be by water of some sort. Um, it's a mixture of both. It's like an energy of expansion and diversity of every land that you touch is your home, you know? So you may be preparing to travel of some sort, preparing yourself to travel. And so your home is going to be a space where like you just, you're like a nomad, okay? Yeah, the three of cups, like meeting new people, having a good time and like really collaborating. So it's like everyone here in this message, wherever you move, you're going to be in a sense of community that works for you. It's like a sense of community 444 where it's what you've been praying for is what you've been hoping for is what you've been manifesting, like a level of support. But then also I'm seeing, you know, a space where it's like good conversation. Um 
it feels loving, okay? And it's like, it's a space where you're going to be able to transform with the death card. So what you're used to, this is not going to be like what you're used to. This is very much so going to be different from that. It's going to be a change from that. So once you get out of like your current living situation or where you're currently at, like you're you're walking into an entirely different cycle of your life. Yeah, two of pentacles is in the reverse. So um, life is going to be simpler as well. There's something about this move or this space and this may coincide with like a job change of some sort. But because of it, life is going to become simpler for you. Areas where you may have felt unbalanced or hard to maintain or balance certain things. It's like you're not going to have that same concern anymore that you used to have. It's also something about this space being good for your mental health. You're also, for some reason, if you find yourself like letting things get like a little junky or something... Or, you know, you may not be all into, you know, like you normally do. Like you may, like you're going to find yourself having a different attitude about this space. Like an excited tone of this space to keep it like up to the tip top shape. You have the world card that's coming out. A lot of you all, you want to be a world traveler. Yeah, two of wands at the bottom of the deck or not just a world traveler. Like you're looking at some of you all, you're looking at moving like a far distance, you know, far away from where you currently live. You know what you're currently used to. Um, a lot of this may be overseas, you know, like a life of travel I'm getting for a lot of you all. The cards that are coming out definitely coincides with that. And it gives an energy of like self-discovery of yourself as well. Learning more about yourself. Something that was once going slow is going to pick up as well. It's like out of nowhere, it's just going to be like, boom, beach, we in here, okay? <laughs> okay, ancestors, what's up with this world card? Because that just feels like, or it could be that you're in a space where there's diversity, um, there's people from different backgrounds, different cultures, different areas, so a lot of transplant energy, so people who are not like from the area but they've moved to this area it could be a lot of that that goes on the devil card coming out some of y'all y'all may have like a funky boss that has a problem with like remote work or if you do remote work they try may try to like be on some stuff with the remote work you're gonna be able to it's gonna work out for you okay if you set it forth of what you're gonna be doing it's gonna work out for you you just gotta be smart about it as well because I'm getting for a lot of you all, the only thing that has been in your way has really just been work. And so you've been identifying and finding new ways for this to be able to work for you. Yeah, five of wands at the bottom of the deck because all jobs are not open to, you know, allowing you to work remotely in different states and countries because they have to pay a tax, you know. And if it costs them more money, most times they say no. You know, this may be a move that not everyone is as, like, excited about for you the way that you are. Um, still do it, okay? Just because they don't understand or they won't be able to benefit from it the way that you do, it doesn't make a difference, okay? Because of what is coming out with this is giving the vibe of even with this devil of, like, someone potentially trying to talk you out of it because you may be moving further away from someone or something, okay? 
Six of Baskets, yes, yeah, someone from the past. There's an energy of the past that's here. Nostalgia. <laughs> Do you remember the time? So that is the one thing that may like potentially get you choked up and be like, you know, wanting to return back to the past and being like, maybe I want to, you know, because that nostalgia starts to kick in. Don't get caught up in the sauce, okay? Don't get caught up in the sauce, baby. Remember your remember your motive. Remember what you've always wanted to do and stick to that, okay? You've always known what you want. Remember that. You've always known what you wanted. Ace of Wands. Yeah. When this opportunity comes, your ancestors are saying you need to take it. You need to jump on it and take it. It's yours. Okay? And a way is going to be made for you. Two of Baskets. It's like connections. You know, you're going to be making new connections. People are going to be making connections like with you and for you on your behalf and you're like not even asking for it yeah nine of baskets like things just start to fall in your in your lap opportunities begin to fall in your lap and it comes from you getting out and communicating with people and like meeting people and networking with them you know <sighs> ancestors that was beautiful i wish i could stay longer but i gotta go get this done let me know if y'all want me to go deeper into this message. I feel like we definitely could go deeper um, into this session of the aspect of you preparing for the home. And um, yeah, so just let me know. I want to know, because like, this felt very specific as well. So I'm going to go finish up some things. I just knew I had to get on here and tap into some ancestor energy. It was like, um, but let me know if you all want me to go deeper into the conversation, into like what I was just saying of how it could potentially go into down below in the comments for me. Um, and if I get about 20 comments saying, yes, go deeper, then yes, I'll go deeper. Actually, 22, since it's 22 minutes, 22. <laughs> but make sure to check out the pinned comment down below for the link to the father's um, free guided meditation the link to the mother's free guided meditation, the link to the expand my territory guided meditation that is happening this Friday, 2222. Um, the link to my website, personal readings, all of that jazz. Feel free to check out my membership areas on my website as well as on Patreon and on YouTube. Okay. I thank you all for being here. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what your higher self and your spirit team is calling for you to do. Period. I love you all and I'll see y'all later. Bye.